The Real Men's Channel with Player Supreme. Yes, I'm back home. I wanted to finish the mobile talk, but it's not really worth it. Um, I banned him from having voice in the channel. He got stupid. It's very important that you guys control how you think in this world. Your dominant thoughts are what you're creating out there in the universe. If your thoughts are of low self-esteem, uh, that you're not good enough, uh, or whatever, that's what you're going to create. Think what the MIG towers are creating in their own lives with their negative thoughts. Think about that. Think about the consequences they're going to, to experience as they get deeper into that movement. When you begin to realize that thoughts are energy, and when you have certain thoughts, you're like sending a vibration to the universe around you. I try to explain this uh, in this in the ideology of using hot chicks. Hot chicks, they vibrate at a different level than the average person that watches my videos. You're down here because of whatever reason, you're 5'5", five five or 5'5 five five in black, or whatever, uh, put you, whatever mentality you're using to put yourself down there, okay? So that means your vibration is slower. And when you get around people who have a higher vibration, which means more confidence, you don't feel good to them. You obviously don't belong there either. They look at you like you're creepy and weird. It's because you're not the same, they're the same vibration. The fellow that talked about the cast system in the game that I said, you know, that kind of pissed me off, but I had to admit he was right. It's true. Hot people date hot people. Okay. What I try to do is give you some workarounds. I don't claim to give you the hottest ass on the planet because you guys are used to the internet porn stuff. That's why I try to show you what these internet porn stars look like without their makeup. You saw they look pretty fucking jacked, right? Like a normal chick. So I try to give you the workaround that will help you get into the land of pussy. Now we saw this uh, MIG tower come here with comments about, you know, I've turned down quite a bit of pussy. And he's still a virgin. That says to me that well, warning signs go off in my head, first of all. Like, if he was coming to me for coaching, I wouldn't coach him now, but if he was coming to me for coaching, and, I, and he told me that, that's in warning signs off my head. He made me want to, you know, investigate his sexuality for a little while. And a lot of people who are struggling with that, they will find that movement and use that as an excuse to hide behind for themselves. I'm not saying that Mobile is, but you guys know the law of averages. You can bet there are quite a few of them who are on the fence about their sexuality, but they're in denial about it. It takes a weak man to give up on women. And that's a form of weakness I just can't tolerate. The planet is already bad enough with weak, uncreative, unmotivated males out there. And then these guys come along. They're polluting the atmosphere. That's why I cannot tolerate them on the channel. Their comments, they come from a negative well. So nothing good is ever going to come out of it. Again, you need to look at yourselves. Those of you guys who are on the fence about you know, MGTOW, should I go MGTOW or should I go be a real man and do what a man's supposed to do? Think about that. If you're having those kind of thoughts, what are you saying to the universe? You're saying to the universe, I give up. If you're on the fence, you're still saying I give up because you're on the fence about it. That means you're already entertaining thoughts about it. So of course the universe can give you what you want. S situations where you get no women. You can't get a girlfriend. You can't get a wife. 
if these guys learn to control the, the way they think and learn about the way the world really actually works, or the universe, as they call it, works, they'd be happier dudes. They'd realize, oh, God, I can't think these thoughts because I'm going to create more of it. This is law of attraction stuff. And don't give me that bullshit about LOA, law of attraction, because she stole that shit. It's actually the law of vibration. She turned to a law of attraction. She, that woman that put popularized that sh it's old shit. It's nothing new. The ancients knew about it. You know, everything's vibration. Our, our physics teaches us that everything is energy and vibration. Quantum physics gone deep into it. This may not mean anything to the majority of you, but there are a few of you who have enough intelligence to see this. They've done tests with light. You guys know that lights consist of photons. They broke it down to just one photon at a time shooting from a gun. One particle of light. Poof. 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 Okay. Now, I know I've lost half of you already. In the test, they had two of them shooting at the same time. Poof. Poof. Side by side. One photon at a time. Poof. Poof. In one, they put a block. Poof. The stop. Poof. In the other one, the light bent and went around. Now, to the average male, female, whatever, that means nothing. But there's a few of you who realize how special that really is. Photons talk to each other. Light talks, communicates. This one getting stopped and this one veering around, no connection to each other, went around, went around and then down. Tick, 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 two, okay? Do you even have any idea what that means? The universe is alive. It communicates. So think about what you're thinking every day. If you're 5'3", Nate, think about what you're thinking every day. What kind of negativity you're putting out there to the universe so the universe gives, understands, gives it back to you over and over again. Desperation gives it back to you. You always feel desperate. It's interesting how some wise guy in the Bible said he who has shall be given more. Or some wise guy wrote it down. He who has not, I, I don't mean that as a joke by wise guy. I mean some intelligent person. He who has not all shall be taken from him. I see the MIG towers as those who have not. So all shall be taken from them. Everywhere they go, all they're going to see is negativity. They look look at they'll, they'll see they'll see a dating couple. They'll think, uh, they'll be divorced in six months. All they'll see is negativity. And all they'll get is negativity. Again, that's why I do not want his voice on the channel. Because thoughts, you ever throw a stone into a pool and it ripples outwards? Well, in the universe, thoughts, they ripple out in all directions, okay? So when he puts a thought on a piece of paper or let's say on my blog, types it into this computer, it shows up as words. People read that. They reverberate outwards. You got to be careful who you read and whose video you watch. Again, that's why I'm very careful of who I listen to in the black consciousness movement or in the black community. I don't listen to Tommy Sotomayor at all. When his videos pops up, I scroll down to where those three dots come up and I say, not interested. I refuse to, to go to any of his videos. He's gotten really slick put his videos under channels. I, I look carefully now to make sure I don't get his dose of negativity as a dark-skinned African-American man, um, full of shit, lying his ass off, 
uh, I guess, is, you know, as black Hispanics. You guys know his real name is Jerome. <laughs> God, so many lies out there. Jerome. I think he's from Georgia. And, but then he, he, all the other negative people out there will follow him because they're negative space. So negative people, they attract each other. Do you see that? That's why you guys who listen to Thomas Sotomayor, look at yourselves. You're one of them. That's why you're attracted to what he has to say. That's why you watch people like him. Okay? Positive people attract positive people. How many of those negative people will go to like an Anthony, oh, let's say Anthony Robbins video and stay on his channel, watch his videos. Let's say he had an hour long video. You know those negative people wouldn't last 15 minutes there? It's too much positive energy. It repels. Positive energy can push negative energy away. Unfortunately, if you're negative, you have a slow vibration. Slow vibration is negative. Positive vibration is fast, vibrant. There's no reason why you should be chasing a hot chick that's got a fast, vibrant uh, uh, aura about her energy level. You're not gonna get. You're not gonna get anywhere. I get along. She's not gonna like you. So, like tonight, Trout, golf is a slower, lower negative energy. The best thing he can do is raise energy up level so he's above them, then go within that dark community. It's all about darkness, wearing black. Uh, you see his photo, he's half in the light, half out. Eventually, though, Night Shroud, you're going to grow up and outgrow that stuff. Then you'd like to have a conversation. Then I'd like to see, like, I would like to see the man you will become then. You don't want to go to a market. Um, like that necessarily just get some kudos and be a hot musician and get admiration. You want to be able to do that without having to go into a subset market, like confidence. You want to build your confidence up. So you don't need just, let's say, uh, a bunch of eye contact from females to feel good about yourself. You should know you look good. You should know what your strengths and weaknesses are. And what you bring to the table. It's so that virgin guy, um, mobile. As I said to him, he, you know, he's a white male. He's already got what he needs to attract white women. The majority out there. There's no reason why he should be a virgin. Unless there's something fucked up. Okay? If you're a virgin, there's something fucked up in you. Somewhere there's a fuck up. Obviously, I mean, can anybody think of any logical reason besides, okay, church, why a grown ass man would be a virgin and no fuck up? Obviously, you can't, except for church, you know, some religious thing. But and then, why are you on my channel? Why are they they out there talking about women all the time? So every last one of these people who are MGTOW have some kind of fuck up inside their heads. And I don't care if you look like Steve Hoka in the nose. Even Steve Hoka types can, because when I first saw the man, okay, he's a nice looking man, you know, kind of nosy, but he's not a man, he should be able to get women. I saw him a long time ago. When he first started ranting in his car. I don't know if he still does the car shit, but he was ranting about women. He looks like a uh, Jewish male. I don't, I think he is Jewish, I don't know. But that's what he looked like to me. And ranting about women. Now, understanding the Jewish community, you know, the mother's very dominant and the father's very passive and all that kind of shit. So they, they got a lot to rant about <laughs> with dominant mothers. I know all about dominant mothers. But damn. I'm thinking, you know, this dude could have a wife. I've seen guys way uglier than him, and he's not ugly. I actually made a comment, I think, on this video that, you know, you're a decent dude. But he could have a wife. 
You're already white. I realize that's not all it takes, but you're already in, in the ball game. But most of them are so lazy, they don't want to fix themselves. They don't want to put in the work. And I can applaud uh, Night Shroud for putting in the work because he knows what market he wants to go to. So he's, he's preparing himself for that market. And I applaud that. I wish it was a different market, that's all. I'm like a father. And I wouldn't want my son to go into that kind of uh, area because I know it's dark. I know the end result of that. But people have to learn on their own. Back to vibration and energy. I'm very careful who I listen to, who I take energy from. And I will not take negative energy. My life's already bad enough, you know. I'm black in America. I can whine about that, throw a race car down. And there's lots of whine and whine about in this country. But I, I learned to turn it around. Okay? I didn't let it stop me. I started my first business. All my clients were white. Interesting how there's some black conscious people who just hate white people. And I can only take them in small doses. I'm thinking of one fellow in particular right now. In small doses. So every once in a while I'll listen to his videos. Which is a shame because the brother has so much potential. It's sad. But when you start absorbing that negativity, and I've made that mistake letting too much of it into me, negative responses come out of me. So if you, you see me ever getting you know deep into the racial stuff again, that's because I'm probably absorbing more negativity. Okay. And I do belong in the, in the racial community the uh, black consciousness movement, but um, too much of it can have a negative uh, backwash effect. So I'm very careful, as every one of you guys should be careful of what you let into your heads. You've got to pay attention to who's trying to get access to your brains, to your minds. Who's knocking at the mental doorways? Most of your, you guys, your doorways are wide open. You don't guard your thoughts. You don't see what's coming into your head. And the purpose of this video, because I have to leave and go train some clients in a few minutes, is I caution you to pay attention to what's going into your head. Be aware of what's on the radio. I just listened to Dr. Boyce Watkins. Um, he has a good video out. Speaking out, you know, he's he loves rap or hip hop music. But he, he's holding some of the artists responsible for the words they say because they're programming young black males, which is true. Um, we got to start watching what's coming into our doorway. Okay? We got to start paying attention. And if it's on the negative side, you got to start closing the door to that. Whether it's family, whether if you're in a relationship with a negative person, you got to get out. That person, all they can do is drag you down. Let go of the codependent strings and just let it go and get out. That's what I wish my father had have done to my negative mother. My mother was negative because he wasn't the kind of man that she wanted. Her father never cheated on their mother. He went to work at Boeing and he mowed lawns part time. Um, he was like a, a perfect type of, actually, wasn't perfect because my grandmother didn't like him. Call him a blue-eyed devil. But my remembrance of him, my grand, only grandfather I've met, never met my dad's father, um, was that you know he was that he was like that pipe smoking grandfather that would do anything for his kids. I don't know why my grandmother didn't get along with my grandfather. Uh, they slept in separate rooms. I think she was, she wanted him to be more, maybe. But he did what he could. But my mother repeated the same thing. And if you're in a relationship with someone that doesn't meet your needs, you need to get out of that. Because out there becomes just a negative situation. Learn how to work it out. If not, I've got to go. I've got 20 minutes to get to my studio.
to my gym. Peace, fellas.